Welcome to Chamber Chat. I'm Elizabeth Austin, Public Relations with the Citrus County Chamber of Commerce, and I have a great episode today of Chamber Chat, and I am joined by uh, Cindy Fine, the new Executive Director of the Boys and Girls Club of Citrus County. So congratulations and welcome to Chamber thank Chat. Thank you. Thank you for the congratulations and thank you for having me on. I'm very excited to be with the organization and to be here today. Yes. So with the Boys and Girls Club, I know there's a lot of new initiatives, but I know that there is a very exciting event that you are here to tell us about. Absolutely. It is our 13th annual Steak and Steak, which is our awards banquet. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of fun things to do. First of all, we changed it up this year and we're going to be down at M&B Dairy. Thank you to the McClellans. Um, who doesn't want to go down and party at the farm? I mean, that alone <laughs> makes it a successful event. As always, the Kiwanis of Inverness will be providing and cooking the steak for us as well as baked potato. Mm -hmm. Jessica McClellan's going to do her famous greens and they're going to make sure we have ice cream for dessert. So it's going to be a great, great time. And it's fun. It's a party. It's a celebration. It's also our largest fundraiser of the year, Elizabeth. So, um, you know, we're asking people to come out knowing that we've got some fantastic auction items. Okay. We've got games to play. It's, it's really going to be great. The the most important thing about that evening, though, in addition to raising funds to keep the clubs operating and serving the children of our community, is it is our awards banquet. So we have our Community Spirit Awards and all that, but the big award of the year is Youth of the Year. And I don't know if you're familiar with that program. Ah, could you tell me a little bit about I'd that? I'd love to. We have three clubs. Every month, the clubs pick a Youth of the Month, that they've done something that was a big treat for them, you know, maybe they improved their reading score or they, they learned how to handle their anger, something that they've been working on. So at the end of the year, the club director will pick one student as the youth of the year of that club. So we have three youths. They each have written an essay, which they will be reading the night of the party, okay. and we have decided on one to be the youth of the year. Wow. So it's, it's a big honor. It's something that everyone likes to be a part of. And I think it really showcases for the people who are there what the clubs are providing for the kids. No, that's an excellent example. I think when you can bring, bring it home and bring home yeah. and show the people that are investing in the Boys and Girls Club exactly who they're helping right. and seeing these success stories. So that Absolutely. Is and, and some of them are very simple success stories. We were talking earlier. Um, some of them are, you know, it's a child who finally learned to tie his shoes, something okay. he maybe should have done five years previous. But mm -hmm. that was his personal struggle. And you and I might not think that's any big deal, but the level of self-confidence that that child just attained mm -hmm. is wonderful. So we are having this wonderful party. We've got the cool corporate cats going to play music. <laughs> We've got an hour of cocktails and, and music and games. There's mm -hmm. going to be some um, ring toss for bottles. And I heard something about cow pie bingo. So uh, it's going to be a fun time. And then um, let's meet the kids, hear from them. And we are going to are gonna ask that, that people help us out. Um, mm. Can I tell you some of our auction items? Please do. Get Please everybody do. a little excited. Yes. OK, so we tried to cover things for everybody. We've got a doggy package from Yappy Tails Pet Grooming with a uh, full groom for a large dog pet treats and organic dog treats. We've got a three-day, two-night stay on an island off the Homosassa River. Oh. Uh, stay and play golf at Plantation. Wow. For the fishing people and hunters out there, we have a Yeti cooler that's going to be auctioned off. Now, do you know what a Yeti cooler is? No, I don't. I, I didn't either because I'm from the north. We don't need <laughs> coolers. <laughs> um, but it keeps your ice for like an entire weekend. Oh, wow. And they're, they're a very big item. And so we've got two of those. Um, of course, we have tickets to Bush Gardens, the Lowry Zoo, Florida Aquarium. And pa the Patriot Sporting Goods shop yes. stepped up to, uh, to the plate. And for the fisherman and the hunter, we have got some great things. And oh, really? um, he will actually be there with them, you know, so that we can keep the, it all legal. We want to be safe around the guns. But we've got a Ruger 1022 takedown NRA limited edition rifle. Wow, very nice. Yes, we have a, a Glock 9mm. We have a hand safe, the emergency one you keep right by your, your bedside. So okay. you can just put your fingers on it and it'll pop open. 
Wow. Um, we have the, that handgun vault. We have a crossbow package. Wow. So there's going to be some great, great, not only silent auction, but live auction items. Josh Wooten from the Chamber of Commerce <laughs> and Dale McClellan are going to be our auctioneers. So we're very excited to have them coming out to help us and really to showcase what the clubs do mm -hmm. and who they're impacting. And there's so many wonderful organizations in the community. We need them all. And I know that we're always asking people to help, but everyone has their favorites, or you can be like me and my husband, and we choose a different one every month to, mm -hmm. you know, to help out. So um, looking forward to a wonderful evening out there, and I hope you'll be joining us. <laughs> well, it sounds like you've, you've done a lot of work in such a short amount of time gathering. <laughs> well, luckily, I will tell you, I, I, being new on the job three weeks, I haven't had to do a lot of work. We have a fantastic committee, um, basically made up of two wonderful women. I have to give them credit, Melissa Albert and Erin Ray, who are just dynamos, as everyone knows, and they have got this so well organized, and it's going to be a fantastic night. It really is. Now, when, when what are the dates again? For this? this is on Thursday, March 6th, okay. and we will open up the, the farm about quarter to, quarter to 6, 545. We'll have VIP parking. If a business is interested in sponsorship, we do still have some sponsorship packages available. We have VIP parking, a VIP bar section and we'll probably go we'll have the cool corporate cats play for about an hour or so then have Kiwanis do our dinner for us do our awards and probably wind up by about 10 o'clock or so well a fantastic night wow. yes, yes and I didn't know if um, I wanted to thank your sponsors for this yes um, great all their help I see we have Citrus 95 the Fox WYKE the Chronicle FDS hometown values absolutely and we've got um, other ones that are that are stepping up to the plate and and doing wonderful things for us so it's it's so nice to work in a community such as Citrus it really is no it's been fantastic and we just had Aaron Ray from FDS in our last episode so I know that you have some great partners that are oh, do. that are really helping and we have our chambers Josh Wooten who's gonna yes. help Yes. make it a very fun event so. yes. and hopefully raise a lot of money there's a lot of children that um, we'd like to be able to help and mm -hmm. scholarship dollars only go so far because we when you have more children you need more staff you need more materials more supplies so in order to serve even more children you know we need to have some funding for that so looking forward to moving the Boys and Girls Club back on the map and mm -hmm. into a new era and uh, we're all very excited at the clubs well, thank you, Cindy, for joining us on behalf of the Boys and Girls Club of Citrus County. I, I'm glad that you're here uh, spearheading and, and really bringing um, the club back to the forefront. Thank it's you. Very I'm very important. excited. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And we'll have a very exciting segment with Ardith Prendergast of our Economic Development Council.